News 12's Kay Blevins introduces us to those working to make a difference in your community with Kay. Welcome back, everyone. We are going to tell you more now about the Mary Ellen Loker, Local um, Loker Foundation, their scholarship fund, how you can check it out and what they're doing for our community each and every day. And joining us now to tell us all about it is Jake Johnson. He is with the CHI Memorial Foundation. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for having me today. Thank you so much for being here. Mel Mary Ellen was such a amazing woman. She did so much for this community and made such a difference in our community each and every day. Let's talk a little bit about who she was and what the foundation does. Yeah, so Mary Ellen Looker, obviously a very um, prominent news anchor uh, in the day and fought a very public battle with breast cancer and, um, and as, she, as she battled through, she wanted to you know, leave a legacy um, to really reduce the um, you know, the financial burden of, of college, right? And so that's where the Maryland Looker Scholarship Fund um, came about in, I guess, 2005. Tell us a little bit about it and how folks in our community can get involved in it. If there are students out there that would like to take part in this. Yeah, so the foundation, uh, the Mary Ellen Looker Scholarship Fund is a subsidiary of the CHI Memorial Foundation, um, which we're the fundraising arm of CHI Memorial Hospital. Um, so to be eligible for this, uh, for this scholarship, so there's kind of really three criteria. So the first one is uh, you have to have a parent um, that has battled or has uh, succumbed or has uh, breast cancer have to live within a 50 mile radius of Chattanooga because we really promote the local aspect of the scholarship fund. And then the third, pe the third piece is that uh, you need to be an incoming freshman or currently enrolled in a, in a four year program. This has been around for a long time and it has helped so many students in our community yeah. throughout the years. Yeah, it has and uh, I, think, I think to date we've, we've given out I think over 600 uh, scholarships totaling over a million dollars just last year uh, I think we awarded 86,000 to, uh, I want to say 26 wow. individuals. Yeah, so um, super excited about it the, when the kids get the scholarships. You know, they, they've kind of fought this battle, you they know, have. personally yes. with their, you know, at their home and then to get this money to, uh, to realize their dreams is, you know, super great. It's a wonderful thing that you all are doing in our community. If folks would like to be part of this and they would like to go through that application process, let's talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so the, the application process is strictly online. Um, so it's kind of profile-based, essay-based. So you'll submit, you know, transcripts and resumes uh, and there's an essay component to, uh, to the scholarship. Um, once you submit online, the deadline is actually February 23rd, so once you submit that, uh, you'll, we'll um, take all those applications, right, and they'll go to a reading committee, so a, a committee of um, donors or uh, community members, uh, people who have been inv involved with the scholarship fund for a long time. They'll grade those, um, and they're weighted based on um, the different areas, and then they're awarded in um, kind of like early spring, kind of Aprilish. Are you still looking for donations? If folks are out there this holiday season, they want to donate. To yeah, you know, uh, end of the year, uh, people might have some taxable uh, tax issues, right? So uh, we are a 501c3, um, so we do accept um, gifts for the scholarship fund. They can be in, of any size, right? Um, you can make gifts of cash, appreciated securities. Um, QCDs, right? So uh, if you have a, um, if you're over 70 and you have a, re re a required minimum distribution out of your IRA, you can also donate that way as well. All right. If folks are out there, they want to be part of this application process. Tell us the website again. Yeah. So just uh, chimemorialfoundation.com. Uh, so you can uh, kind of search through there, and you'll you'll find the Muriel and Looker Scholarship Fund landing page, and you'll be able to locate the uh, Good Grants platform link on all the right. website. Jake, thanks so much for being here with us this morning and thanks for what you all are doing at CHI Memorial and for the scholarship fund to help so many students in our area that have been impacted by breast cancer in their family. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. If you would like some more information on this interview, please go to our website at WDEF.com.